So why are we here, Douglas? Well, it's a great question, Chris. Um, and something that I've been asked for the last couple of years is why, why would we join forces with yet another MIS system? Um, and I think um, the, real, the real question in that is, is probably a, there's a, a multiple answers. But in, in a simple term, in, the, in the, the label space where these converters are finding new markets and new opportunities, um, there's a desire for them to take the business in a slightly different format. Um, and what I mean by that is ultimately, um, whereas before they were maybe taking in an order for 100,000, they're going to be doing a long run that we pr printed over many weeks, is actually the, the, the market has changed, um, especially since COVID and other factors have driven that in, which is they're now getting orders of 1,000, 10,000, um, dollars worth of value, so they mean it need to be managed in a different way, um, and that that means, and what I mean by that is how the orders are consumed into the business. And you've always had the beauty of CERM and their technology for managing that once it's into the um, into the business. But how do we support CERM and add value to CERM by giving them more options? And I think that's the big thing is we're seeing that not only um, and and CERM have, have have a great product of being able to um, do repeat orders and stuff. But we're talking about net new customers that want to turn up, place an order for a thousand pounds, book that into the system, get that fulfilled, and and then and then walk away. So I think the change in the marketplace with the volumes and the digitization of that volume is is definitely driving this partnership into much more stronger. Um, stronger way. Great yeah, and I'll, I'll just speak from a from a technical perspective. You know, we had a, we had, there's a there's a lot of partners out there. Um, some not as good as some, but we you know we went to visit them. They opened they they greeted us with open arms. You know, from a technical perspective, we looked at their APIs, the the ability for us to integrate and plug in with them. Um, you know, to get to to get to this point now where we're in this kind of beta phase, we've we've. They, they, you know, Stefan and the guys kindly invited us to um, the CERM customer event that we got put in front of their customers to find out exactly what they want from this solution, from this opportunity. Um, you know, we've been working with key label connectors in the industry that CERM customers currently to help solutionize this and work with us to get to this point. So not only technically, you know, their API is, is, is possible and is, 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 is present for us to integrate, um, they've also welcomed us into their inner circle and their customers and their key customers to help us to um, solutionize this. To, to that point, Chris, I just also want to add to both uh, also Douglas and, and Alex. It's I think also the market is changing, you know, seeing more and more productive and efficient equipment to produce it, uh, whether it's through other partners or hardware partners. Uh, certainly that market seems to be in a big movement right now and there is a bigger need of, of transfer orders faster and different to a converter, to a converting business. I think we, we see that in change. Now, I don't think we have seen the big demands yet. I think we're in the early no. phase, like you both said, but we see it more and more people asking for more, let's say, let's say consumer websites on how to order labels for the smaller volumes. It's not there like in commercial print yet, I would say, by far not. It also needs to still be proved that it will work that way because the, the label business is more industrialized than commercial print. But certainly the indications we see today is that more and more people are asking for that. And I think all the manufacturers of producing, finishing and printing labels are certainly driving that in that direction. They just need more cap 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 capabilities out there now, technical. And we are the front end together with, with Infigo to, to make that work. Yeah, and I think one of the big um, things, that I, and, and this is certainly a newer market for us in the last two to three years, but... One of the things that I've seen is there's been a lot of acceleration in the hardware market on making sure that the digital equipment from a print perspective are capable of doing this in, in these runs, the color management and all of that sort of stuff. And then the finishing and then some um, have, have been doing a great job of making sure and, and probably quite a unique job that they can automate and batch across these multiple runs and pull these jobs together. But yet then you need to be able to feed that from a pricing, 
a job um, um, upload, a pre-flight, et cetera, and, and bringing those things together. Because there's no point in just having a digital device that can print lots of jobs really quickly if you can estimate them fast, but you can't get them into the factory. So I think this is where, as, as you probably eloquently said earlier, Chris, is that there's a coming of giants of us working with them um, together with CERN, working with the HPs, the, the, the other um, AVGs, et cetera, et cetera, those big partners to help elevate those orders that can come through. And, and uh, as, 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 as Stefan mentioned, we're not there yet. This is an, an embryonic state that you've got one or two of the big boys that are, are really trying. But if you looked at their systems, they're very much a bit of spaghetti junction of they've pulled lots of systems together that are not that streamlined. And what we're trying to do is part of this is work with key customers to make sure that not only can we build something for one customer, but we can build something for many customers within their environment and something that's scalable in the future. Um, not just for labels, it might be pouches, it might be other packaging requirements, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I, I think that's where um, we've seen that CERN with their really well-established APIs, unlike many of the other MISs we've been speaking to, we have been able to very, very quickly in reality, something that might have taken us a year, we've been able to do that within three to six months. And I think that shows um, the capabilities and advancements that CERN are really way ahead of their competition in this industrial market. Okay, great. That's some really good uh, content there, Douglas and, and, and Alex. Thank you as well for you, your piece on meeting the customers. So you, you've met the uh, the end user straight away. Um, the, the question for all of you really is, what does the combined solution look like? If you can just articulate how it's going to work, what's it going to do? And then finally, what's the value to the customer? Well, um, I'll answer the first bit, which I'm going to reverse, which I'm <laughs> going to talk about the value, um, because I think the other part is irrelevant. You know, it's just the tech stuff. No, uh, <laughs> the, va the value to the customer is they've got something that's fast, scalable and can, can be integrated very quickly for a very reasonable um, price point. That's the reality. You're not talking about something that's going to take 2000 to sorry, $200,000 $500,000 and it's going to take a year or two to implement. We're talking about a value of something that can be potentially, even from a standing start from an MIS, three to six months, and you could have something very, very powerful live very quickly. And I think that allows the, 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 the customer to have a lot of value very quickly for um, a, a much more entry um, um, much more affordable entry point into the into the into the market. So that's the value piece, I think. And I'll let Alex and Stefan maybe comment on the what is it um, piece because it's obviously many things, not just order submission. So for me, before we let uh, Alex talk more about it, thank you, sir. For me, it's like you said that uh, Doug, it's it's really about standardization of the interfaces, and I think that's one of the we see as a core value of um, having all those standard interfaces you know to be able to reproduce them like Doug said you don't want to have a custom development from customer to customer it's just nobody can maintain that on the long term it's just too painful and too long we all had it over the last you know decade more or less so we we want to really standardize and we we see that not just from the from the web front end but we see it down like Doug said to the HP Nigos to the ABGs if you see you know to that point again there's technology coming with laser die cutting you need to have those integrations online. You cannot do it by hand anymore by this short order. So it's important is having standard interfaces from the order process up to production, finishing and shipment. And I think that's the, the key piece. And uh, for that, that's what we're up for to, to do that again with, with a uh, tech partner like Infigo to make it work and make it look nice on the internet. So everybody can sell it online as well. Yeah, I think that's a key point. It's bringing our, our e-commerce and personalization power. And we've worked a lot over the last year to make that a simpler tool to use, so you don't have to be a developer. You know, you, you, you can be a you can be a business that hasn't been online before and hasn't got experience in selling online, and pick up our software and and again, as Douglas says, be up and running very very quickly. Um, the integration itself, you know, it 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 it's, it it leans towards that single source of truth, which would be CERM. 
So you, your customers exist in CERM, your contacts exist in CERM, your estimates exist in CERM, your products and order history all exist in CERM. And Infigo is just accessing that information and serving it to the World Wide Web and to anybody anywhere in the world at any point in time. So they can log on, they can view previously ordered or previously requested estimates, previously ordered products, previously ordered items from anywhere in the world at any point and view them. And they can reorder those at the click of a button. But equally, where and where this is unique to, you know, the Web for Labels offering that CERM have had for many years is that it's net new customers as well. You don't have to have existed in CERM previously. You can browse a catalogue of products that you've never ordered before. You've never created estimates. You didn't even know existed before and get accurate live pricing for those and place order for those and then reorder those in the future. Nice live pricing. We like that. OK, I well, guess well, it's not just it's, it's not just live pricing. I think the, the, the purpose of this is live data. So you've yeah. got live pricing estimates, customers. We're also pulling in, you know, like that's the. So that's Sam does incredible power. things with that estimate. It, like you say, it's not just the price they calculate. It's the machinery it's going to be produced on. It's the parcels it's going to be shipped in. It's, you know, the roll diameters, the, the you know, everything like that. And, and that, that CERM have that information and, and we're looking to pull that in and, and present it to the customer. So. Yeah. I guess the big question is, the burning question, when and where can we see this uh, combined solution and does it have a name uh, from either side of the of the fence does it have a name does it have uh, a brand or a logo or something I'm just gonna go first Alex when can we see it where can we yeah, see so it? so the yeah the initial launch is going to be at label expo uh, really excited we're going to be um, talking about the concept like we're doing here on the stand um, we're going to be demonstrating um, it, the initial uh, versions of it at, at Label Expo. Um, yeah, I'm really keen to get to get get it in front of customers um, get feedback. and show them and get feedback yeah. and show them what we've done, get feedback and and then kick on with um, iterations and iterations like to come. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll be we're very excited. We've got it's good timing because we'll have TLMI as well. Um, so we'll be able to work with the uh, our US Northern American clients and get some feedback and talk to some of those guys. So from a timing perspective, it's really it's almost like we planned this um, <laughs> from from this perspective. So, I, I touched yeah. on it at the start, like what we're also doing is we're working with a, a select group of, of customers at the moment in a beta program where we're where we're we're in the process of handing this over for them to feedback as well. So um, we're not just talking in Figo and CERM about what we think as two businesses the, the market wants. We're talking to the customers and, and actually asking them to feedback and help shape this um, even now for for partly of the Label Expo, depending on what's possible. So I think that answers my question, my next question, really, Alex. Um, Label Expo is 11th of September in, in Brussels. But yep. obviously, Doug has just mentioned TLMI as well. And I'm assuming that some of those customers may not just be European. They may be from the Americas or North America. So this is a global yep. solution yep. Um, for, for all businesses globally. And um, it will be uh, first be shown at Label Expo on the 11th of September in Brussels. And then we will see it move on from there. Already. Yep. OK, well, I've got one last question for each of you. Um, I'm going to start with Stefan. What's it like to work with Infigo? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's always nice surprises to work with Doug. And it's good to have Alex on his side to uh, make it work at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Take that from that route you will, eh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alex. I mean, I, so, so one of the reasons we decided to work with CERM because they're a brilliant company to work with. We, uh, Despite the the difference in uh, language and and ge geography, we're we're actually very like minded businesses in the way that we work, um, and so yeah, it's an it's an absolute pleasure to to work with the guys at some, particularly uh, young Stefan, who, <laughs> who, who keeps us grounded along with Douglas. <laughs> and uh, Douglas, you can close us out on this on today's call. What's it like to work with both uh, Alex and uh, and Sam? <laughs> Alex is an absolute pleasure to work with. 
Steph and not Seth. <laughs> no, I think it, 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 like genuinely, I, I've been friends with Seth and now we worked in many businesses together um, and in, in various ways. And I think the beauty is now we can, um, the beauty of myself and um, Steph and you're bringing great minds as well as great businesses. So um, we, we allow these different ideas and, and things to really um, come to fruition and allow us to go to market and and ultimately as, as we as we said earlier this for us is not just uh let's do this it's a great idea this is really 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 important that we're adding a ton of value for our customers and that will drive the opportunity that we're doing here because this is quite unique there's lots of other parties out there that are going to try this and uh, try it and do a really poor job of that but what we are bringing to the market is second to none and will be be, be matched by nobody um so uh, yeah it, it, we're coming with a bang and just, just just back on like the relationships like the, the real refreshing thing at least from my perspective is there's, there's honesty between the two companies so when when there's something that isn't going as well or or when there's something that we'd like to see or, and, and likewise we have open and honest con uh, conversations and discussions about it and things get sorted and we move on like it's you know no one hides behind titles or emails or anything like that it's a it's an open honest relationship and it's really refreshing from 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 my perspective from a development perspective because like douglas says at the start you know this has been a this has been a swift development and of, of this solution and it's only been made possible with you know working together with with the guys at um excellent okay 11th of september brussels label expo